Hey y'all, welcome back to Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Let's see what's going on. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, bro. It's so beautiful outside, so I hope y'all are getting some sun. Okay, I'm seeing some swimming going on. All right, now somebody's a lifeguard or you're taking swimming lessons or something like that, or you're um, giving swimming lessons or something. Community for certain. It's definitely something going on in the community. This could be like a pool party or something going on. Door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. Then you have the temple path in the reverse. Happy family, the garden and the gate. Yeah, somebody um, somebody can't get through something unless they have a key, a code or something like that. So that could be significant as well. You could, y'all make sure that y'all got your keys and things with you too. Seems like somebody can't get into their neighborhood or something. Or this may be somebody trying to access your neighborhood and they can't get in. I mean, that's the point, correct? Like if you didn't invite, they ask. The thinking woman, door to spirit, our angel Ariel, envy here, blossoming abundance. I'm just gonna take these cards as they flip over and show how I do my spread anyway. The thinking man reverse. I'm just picking up on you're not thinking about somebody, like you don't want anything to do with them anymore. There's some kind of indecision here. Somebody is trying to backtrack. Okay. It's definitely something here about swimming or something. I feel like you're not um this card obviously wants to come by. A woman holding a heart. You're not you're not thinking about somebody or you're not thinking about something. It seems like you're just pretty much carefree. You're sugar free here, for sure. Masculine. I seen 144. You're sugar free. You're not with the dumb shit. Okay, somebody is very in, um somebody is envious here because you made a decision to move on without them. This person may be trying to take you for all of your money or something. This person is very deceiving. This is a karmic that this masculine energy has gotten away from successfully, but it's like this person is trying to still, I heard pull your leg or something. Somebody is also about to come start some shit with your new person. Like if you're dealing with someone else, if you are, whether you're single or dealing with somebody, I feel like you're about to be with someone and this person definitely is about to stand in the way. Somebody is trying to get in touch with the person that you're dating to tell them that you have a disease or to tell them something that you uh that they did to you or you did to them or something like that. I don't know what the hell this is. But somebody is not it's like I, I don't feel like you're trying to hide anything per se. I just feel like if there's something that you need to tell someone about you, you would make them aware of this. Like I don't feel like this bitch or this nigga needs to be telling nobody what you like whatever it is that you got going on, you need to be revealing that to your person. I don't know why this person is trying to ruin your business or something. Spiritual union, reverse universe. So somebody has tapped into some lower shit, solitude. This person is by themselves. They can't figure out why they can't get somebody. I feel like this person is doing some kind of online dating. This person is doing online dating. They're going out. They're not able to find anybody. Recognition and reward. And it's like they're trying to re they're trying to find you and other people. I feel like this person may be meeting people, but it's not you. Like, they'll never meet anybody else like you, so they're going to keep looking. It's like if they can't have you, they want somebody that resembles you, somebody that cares like you do or something like that. They just basically want a clone of you, and that's never going to be possible, what I said. Whatever this person is looking for, they're not going to get it. Trapped in fear in the reverse. Conflict and defeat in the reverse. So they trying to bring problems to you this weekend, fam. That's why y'all definitely be cautious, especially at a pool party or something. I'm hearing swimwear. It's a feminine energy in here that designs uh, like swimsuits or something. You are very talented, fam. Masculine, this could be you as well. There's some kind of deception here. Somebody's very deceitful in the shadows. They're in the shadows lurking. A tambourine, tangerine, orange is significant. Like the color orange, like somebody is very bright today. Peaches, nectarines. You could be eating a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. Patience and planning in the reverse shadow. Yeah, I just I feel like something is just over. This this is just over. This relationship, you have grown past whatever this person is trying to do, whatever they're trying to say. I don't feel like you're truly worried about it because whoever this person is, I mean they may be coming with the truth, but I feel like most of that shit is just watered down. Yeah, choose wisely. This person is mad because you made a wise choice to leave them the hell alone. What I said, child. You made a very wise choice by leaving this person behind. This person is definitely an anchor. They will weigh you down. It's something about anklets and uh, bracelets. I heard trinket, tinker, 
tinkle we somebody could have like runny um runny nose or like but i'm picking up on runny faucets or something like that stand your ground firm uh, foundation then you have light here yeah some somebody is doing spell work over your home or something like if you just getting random holes in the wall or um like random leaking or something like you see how that car just flew over there how the fuck i don't know but it's like somebody's trying to turn your foundation upside down you have a brand new beginning here one nine zero somebody is going to the casino or something and you're gonna hit really big. It's like you're not gonna see this coming. I'm seeing somebody drinking beer. Somebody's just, I mean, you're just having a good fucking time. I feel you're just enjoying your fucking life. The fuck is this? It's a witch here, bro. It's a fucking witch that you didn't know this person was a witch or something. And it's like until something goes the way they want it to, they're not gonna stop. But there's my dad, boom, to stop they ass right here. What I said, child. Somebody's very goddamn deceiving, bro. Bro, y'all have many different people that's on your ass. It's not just one person. You got people you went to school with, people you ain't no longer friends with, people you ain't dating no more, family. I mean, people you don't fucking know at all. What I said, child. Y'all people got a lot of motherfuckers that's on your ass. And these people will not let the fuck up. It's like they won't stop doing something. A wristwatch is significant. Like somebody is at a watch store, jewelry repair or something. Like they may need your watch repaired or something. But I don't feel like it's the actual watch. It's like the this the, the band on your watch needs prepared, uh, prepared, repaired or something like that. Look, regeneration. That's going to go very smoothly for you. I feel like y'all just occupy your time with shit that you need to be fixing. Like, I'm just seeing you minding your business, bro. A never any story is in the reverse. Like something is just completely over. You're, you're making more time for yourself for this person that you're with or something. Somebody's going on a date. Somebody's wearing all red, bro. Y'all folks are fine as shit, bro. Go the distance here. I feel like you've been at home. You just been home chilling. You ain't been really going out, and then you're gonna suddenly go out. I feel like you're gonna end up meeting somebody. This person, whoever this person is that you're meeting, you're gonna meet them where you live, but this person does not live there. What I said, truth be told, that's the truth the rule. Something is gonna tempt you to go somewhere. Like spirit's gonna say, get up, do your makeup, do your hair. Go get your hair cut. Get your dress twisted. Something like that. But it's for a reason. It seems like you're just um you're you're just getting dressed up or something. Like it's somewhere that you're going. I don't feel like you know exactly where you're going. Like it's like something spontaneous as fuck. You might just go sit down and eat somewhere, but you're gonna get dressed up like you normally do anyway. But I feel like I feel like you normally dress really nice. But it's just something, like, lately you haven't been giving a fuck. Like, you haven't been going out or something. Yeah, it's something for you. It's something out in the community for you. I'm seeing that community card. Somebody's also doing community service. You may see somebody that you know doing community service or something in your city. Like, um, you might know somebody that's locked up and you're going to see they had doing community service or some shit. What I said, child? You are not orphaned by any means. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold. It's a fucking witch here, I'm telling you. But this person has been cut out from any of these realms, these different realms that this person was traveling to. This has been cut off indefinitely. I've been hearing that word recently in these readings, indefinitely. Some is over with for good for these hoes and niggas, bro. What else is here? I'm hearing that song, Your Mind Still, The Fates, to be fair, in the reverse. So for a lot of you guys too, I feel like this is an ex. They just pissed off because you moved on with your life and this person, like, the, the person that you're dating, like, they're doing witchcraft to try to bring you, you know, um, some kind of issues with your person. But it's not going to work. I feel like you both are into the spirit. You both are very high-ranking. Yeah, this person is not going to be able to build any blocks around your relationship. You two, whoever you two people are, you're very high-ranking. And the thing that this person is not understanding is... You just truly don't even give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. You don't care. So your your person, the person that you with, they know all about spiritual warfare. You know all about spiritual warfare. So you know you're being attacked. So it's like, yeah, we don't give a fuck. We still gonna be together kind of energy. Why in the reverse? Yeah, you already know. You mean to tell me you go to sleep, wake up, and then all of a sudden you and your person is just arguing for us and ain't nothing right. Yeah, it's cause somebody is sending this shit to you. Chaos and conflict. I can't make it up. This person prays, wishes, and hopes that you would never have a relationship. Meanwhile, they're out scouting is what the fuck I heard. Somebody named Scott. This person is scouting for someone. to. They trying to find someone exactly like you. They're never going to do this. 
It ain't no one in the world like you. So they're trying to keep you single or something because they know something is over here and now. This person knows this shit is over. They know it's no way in the hell that you will ever accept any offers or anything from them. You don't want shit from this person at all. Thinker. And I mean, when I tell you at all, the sight, the smell, the, 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 the just hearing of this person makes you want to throw the fuck up. Yeah, this person doesn't have a leg up, okay? And they're definitely doing some wicked ass shit to your person. They're trying to send uh, spiritual warfare to this, this divine feminine over this man, okay? And I'm going to leave it here, Divine Fan Masculine. Y'all make sure that y'all get y'all uh, membership to Patreon. I'm going to leave the link in the uh, description box. Thank y'all so very much. Remember that God loves you and so do I, okay? All right. For those of you all who are still here, somebody named Patricia or something like that, Maxine or Max Maxwell, something like that. This bitch right here, bro, I'm trying to tell you, there's somebody in this energy... Somebody in this energy does not want you to move forward with your person. Mature woman. I feel like this is somebody's mother, bro. I cannot cap you down. This may be this karmic mother. It could be your masculine mother or it could be your fucking mother. But they're definitely trying to bring an end to your courtship. Somebody's about 6'4". Somebody's birthday is August 19th, June 4th or June 19th or something like that. It's somebody in your energy that's trying to make sure that you're not dating anybody. It's something here about courtship, romance. Yeah, they don't want you having any kids, doing anything. This, this person right here has completely... They, they've just been doing some stupid shit and it's backfiring on them. What else is here? Yeah, this person's a fucking thief. They were trying to steal something, but instead they're in fucking poverty. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And all this came out together. They're not going to be able to take anything from you. They can't take shit from you. What can they take? They didn't give it. This person feels like they owe um, you owe them your life or something. You don't. They tr And I mean, they truly fucking feel this way. They feel like you owe them some shit. This person may have been trying to message you. You got this person blocked. This person right here does not want you married or anything. They're very fucking immature. This is a younger energy here. This person could be younger, could be older than you. It doesn't fucking matter. This person's a goddamn loser. Trying to come up against high honor. Are you crazy? What I said, fam? I said, what the fuck I said, child? This person trying to come up against high fucking honor. This is never going to work. Somebody named Julio. That's apple juice. So apple juice could be significant. You may love apple juice. Or maybe you should drink apple juice or something. The emperor. Divine feminine. This motherfucking man is trying to block you from your masculine. Masculine, this bitch is trying to block you from your feminine, period. And I mean, as in male and female, not the energy. I mean, divine masculine being a man, like, with a dick, and divine feminine being a woman with a... You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about gender here, not energy. 13, 13, I think. What's the energy here? 